All right, let's jump back into the highlights. One of the most dominant teams in the state so far this year, San Saba, trying to keep that rolling, winning their games by an average of over 58 points per game. Valley Mills trying to stand in their way tonight, though. First play, because we're getting fired up. It's the Eagles. A tough one tonight. First play of the game, Sean O'Keefe, the screen pass to Eli Salinas. He's got downfield blocking, and he is going to follow it into the end zone for a touchdown. Armadillo's up 7 0. Three seconds into the game in this one. Bad news for Valley Mills on this plate. It's running back Spencer Eggleston gets injured. Done for the night. That's a tough blow for them. He is a big time weapon. Late first quarter, Salinas takes the handoff. He's going to find the hole. Extending to get the score, but the refs. Oh, come on, ref. What are you doing? Marking him down short on that play. Easy pl uh, Next play, easy walk in for Selena Still is lead 13 0. Second quarter, O'Keefe. He's going to take his turn scoring, trying to up his fantasy value here. Stiff arms, jukes, and no match as he finds his way in for the touchdown. 20 to nothing. Armadillo's next series for San Saba. Driving it down to the eight yard line. O'Keefe, the wide receiver screen to Cole Bryant. He finds room and he scores all armadillos tonight as San Saba cruises to the win. 43 0. They will now get ready to host Crawford next week. Now we get ready to host Gary Ainsworth in the studio tonight. Gary, you were out there tonight. San Saba's been dominant all season long. Kind of what you saw from the night. You know, uh, earlier today I was looking through some highlights and trying to get an idea because I hadn't seen San Saba play all night. And one thing really stuck out, uh, really stood out to me downfield blocking and the ball carriers following that downfield blocking. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you, if you look at the first play from scrimmage, you know, the, the left guard, the left tackle swing out and they give Salinas this open valley of right down the sideline and nobody's going to touch him. And you know, one of the things I noticed is you've got a guard and a tackle running down the field with your running back. Yeah. And, and <laughs> it just, you don't see that very often. And then one of the, there was another play um, early, later in the game. It was a pass. And, oh, no, the, this was one. Look at the, look at the wide receiver. You know, the wide receiver's got perfect technique, arms in, knees bent, you know, sealing off that outside and letting Salinas. Uh, this play was actually called back for a holding penalty on the backside. Ah. And it, it, it's just something that I'm not used to seeing at this level. Uh, you yeah. see it a lot in the, uh, the big college schools. You know, Baylor does it. You know, they do a great job of it. And some great catches and just, you know, ball control and body position. Yeah. And Working that stock block drill, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, here you go. Here's another one. The, the holes that these guys are opening up are just amazing. And I'm, I'm just, I'm really jazzed about this because you just don't see textbook blocking. You don't see technique. And it's just, it, it's really cool to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I have a good feeling that uh, we're going to be watching San Saba well into December, especially with that downfield block right. I mean, that you talked about tonight. This team has a ton of talent. But the talent really doesn't match the technique that they're putting in. And the coaches are really drilling this in. And it's something that it's, it's really neat to watch the, you know, a coach drill this part in because it's going to carry further. And a lot of these guys are make up next level. Yeah, all right. Well, looking forward to watching them the rest of the way. Gary, appreciate you stopping by. Good stuff as always.